In this video, you will see how a Western transfer is performed using the Bolt Mini Blot Module and Tank. Make sure cassette clamps are removed before you set up your transfers. One gel is transferred per module and two modules fit in one bolt tank. Included in the Bolt Blot Module Kit is a roller, sponge pads, tweezers, and the quick reference card. Approximately 250 milliliters of transfer buffer is required for each transfer. Prepare transfer buffer by adding 50 milliliters of 20x bolt transfer buffer, 100 milliliters of methanol, and 1 milliliter of antioxidant, bringing up the total volume to 1 liter with deionized water. Soak two sponge pads in 1x transfer buffer and squeeze the pads to remove air bubbles. Prepare the gel for transfer by first rinsing the gel cassette with water. Open the gel cassette using a gel knife. Carefully remove the wells and the foot of the gel using the gel knife so that the entire gel is of equal thickness. Place a shallow dish on the bench and pour 1x transfer buffer to dip filter papers during sandwich assembly. Assemble the Western Transfer Sandwich by placing the cathode or negative core on a flat surface. Pour 5 milliliters of 1x transfer buffer into the core. Then place a pre-soaked sponge pads on the cathode core, followed by a pre-wetted filter paper. Next, use the blot roller to squeeze air bubbles out between each layer. Place the gel on the stack using the roller again to remove air bubbles. Using the tweezers, place the membrane on top of the gel and roll to remove bubbles on the stack. Complete assembly by placing the anode or positive core on top of the sandwich and press the two module halves together. Insert the blot module into the bolt tank with the cathode core facing the front of the tank. The blot module should be seated with the electrodes contacting the electrode bar. Extra transfer buffer can be added to the module core to submerge the sandwich, but don't fill above the gasket. Add deionized water or transfer buffer, about 225 milliliters, to the chamber just below the electrode bar. Make sure the power supply is off. Place the cover on the tank and plug the power leads into the power supply. Turn the power supply on to begin the transfer. Transfer for 60 minutes at a constant 10 volts for nitrocellulose membranes and at 20 volts for PVDF membranes. After the transfer is complete, remove the module, pour out buffer, and disassemble the module. Recover the membrane using tweezers. As you can see, the transfer looks great. You are now ready to probe your membrane for Western analysis.